Hello and welcome. This video is going to tell you about the teaching activities of the Digital Constitutionalism Network. My name is Dennis Redeker. I teach at the University of Bremen, Germany. The Digital Constitutionalism Network was created in Bochum in late 2019. Its creation was helped by the Center for Advanced Internet Studies, short KAIS. As a network, we are comprised of more than two dozen researchers from around the world who work across disciplines in order to explore the role that human rights and fundamental principles have in the digital environment. We engage and cooperate on projects in teaching, research and advocacy. Hello everyone, this is Claudia Padovani speaking from the University of Padova and I would like to tell you something about a wonderful initiative uh, that we carry out uh, with the Digital Constitutionalism Network. I'm speaking about a teaching partnership uh, between different teachers and classes from different universities uh, from across Europe. It's a collaboration whereby we involve students in learning and getting a better understanding of the relevance of human rights and fundamental principles in digital transformation. So what we do is that we explore concepts and theories and we also do some practical activities. And this is done by joint seminars, collaboration between classes, joint projects that we develop. Uh, this involves different students uh, from universities in Italy, in Germany, in Ireland, in the Netherlands, in Finland, and we also hope from other countries. And what we've learned from the past is that, of course, uh, uh, technologies have been very helpful over the last couple of years uh, to develop these transnational activities. But the fundamental thing that we all love is to be able to meet together. So we are trying to develop opportunities uh, for you to come together and join some of the activities that we will be doing offline, meeting in person, talking to each other. Hello everyone. My name is Eduardo Celeste and I'm an assistant professor in law at the School of Law and Government of Dublin City University. I'm extremely pleased to be part of this teaching partnership. Digital constitutionalism doesn't have a univocal definition. It has been used to denote the emergence of a civil society movement, a series of initiatives promoted by civil society and other actors to adopt declarations of rights for the internet it has been used to denote a theory, an ideology, a research agenda. However, all these various definitions have in common the ultimate aim of digital constitutionalism, which is to translate and to re-articulate the core values and norms of contemporary constitutionalism in a way that can address the challenges of the digital revolution. Digital technology is currently putting constitutional law under strain and digital constitutionalism indeed aims to promote a discussion about how to re-articulate constitutional norms in order to address the challenges of the digital revolution. Hi everyone, my name is Oudi Buko. I'm a PhD researcher at the University of Helsinki um, in Media and Communication Studies, and I teach the course Media, Activism and Social Change. I'm especially interested in how activists and NGOs understand and define the concept of digital rights, and how these plural meanings of digital rights are articulated in their work in different local contexts as well as in transnational debates. From the point of view of Media and Communication Studies, it's also interesting to explore how activism for digital rights connects to earlier movements for media uh, democratization and communication rights. Today, civil society has multiple roles, including acting as a watchdog, raising awareness of issues, demanding accountability from states and companies. I believe this teaching partnership is a great platform for us as students, researchers and activists to further explore how to be more engaged in the ongoing debates of digital constitutionalism. Hello everybody, this is Mauro Santaniello. I am a political scientist based at the University of Salerno in Italy, where I teach internet governance and digital policy. 
I am very glad to be part of this teaching partnership together with students of the course of Diplomatic Studies, International Relations and Global Security. The first edition of the teaching partnership involved students in the analysis and translation from English to Italian of the Charter of Human Rights and Principles for the Internet. That text has been adopted by the Internet Rights and Principle Coalition of the United Nations Internet Governance Forum as their official text, their official Italian version of their charter. That booklet has been also presented at a couple of very important international events, including the Internet Governance Forum and the European Dialogue on Internet Governance. The second edition of the Teaching Partnership started from that point and used the Charter as a standard to assess and evaluate the Digital Services Act, an important legislative proposal through which European Union institutions are seeking to protect some fundamental rights online. The Digital Constitutionalism Teaching Partnership is going to take place for the third time this year. Like in previous years, students are going to collaborate across campuses and across Europe in a virtual classroom. In addition to what we've done before, this year we have two more things planned. First, we're going to work around the concept of creating Wikipedia entries in different classrooms, different student groups are going to collaborate that way and in fact they will pass on the work because some start early in the semester and some start later. And the second thing is a symposium that we're going to have in the end of the semester in late June 2022. At this symposium you'll be able to present your work that you have done during the entire semester. We look forward to meeting you and we look forward to this teaching partnership 2022. I look forward to meeting you during our common events and initiatives. We hope you will enjoy the teaching partnership and we look forward to all your final projects. I look forward to working with you in the coming months. Thank you. It will be great to meet you. Uh, I look forward to the teaching partnership.